I have a box from Entertainment Earth. I'm really excited because I'm pretty sure I know what it is. So let's open it up and find out. Alright, here it is. It is the Legends in Three Dimensions. So it is the Ahsoka Tano 1-2 scale bust. I am very excited for this. It is a diamond select toy. It was for sale on Gentle Giant as well as Entertainment Earth. I missed the pre-sale on Gentle Giant but I did get mine through Entertainment Earth before it sold out. And I am very excited for this. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So it is, it is numbered. I have 592 out of a thousand. So it does come with a certificate of authenticity. Comes with Gentle Giant's little lineup and membership card. Alright, so it looks like she actually comes all put together. So here she is in the box, so it doesn't look like she has any extra pieces or anything. Alright, so again, she has what she is. So she has all the details on the bottom. Alright, so right off the bat there's a couple of things that I'm not happy with, especially considering especially considering the back of the box says that it features a high level of detail in exact painting applications. A couple of things I don't really support that. But let's let's have a look. So overall, she is very, very nicely painted though. There's just a couple of things here and there that I don't quite like. And I'll show you guys those in a second. Uh, it looks like her head is actually a completely separate sculpt from her body. And it looks like her leku are completely separate from the head, so... She was sculpted in a couple of different pieces and then put together. She does have a very nice weight to her. So she's probably one solid, she's probably solid all the way through. But overall the paint job is still very, very nice. Again, just a couple of things here and there that I'm not quite happy with. But overall, she is very nice, very beautiful. All right, so let me give you guys a closer look. All right, so here is a closer look at her. So here's her face. Her lips are painted a little weird. They're kind of splotchy, kind of streaky, which is a little annoying, and her eyes are kind of you look, you can see the yeah, the whites of her eyes don't quite go all the way into the, they don't go all the way into the corner here, but she does actually have like little individual eyelashes painted on, which is pretty cool, but also a little bit of overpaint going on on her eyes. Her headband is very beautiful, very nicely done. And the only thing I'm seeing is a little bit of it's a little bit of something right there. Um, it looks like there is a little bit of a divot right there, and the paint didn't get in. 
But other than that, it is all very nicely painted. Um, so here's one of the things that I notice is it looks like there's a little bit of chip, a chip in the paint right there. Yeah, there's a little bit of a chip in the paint right there. Of course, right on the front. But other than that, and then there is a little bit of... But her Lego do actually have shading on them. You can see that gradient right there and all of the stripes do have that gradient on them. Here is the back. All the paint looks clean, very nicely done for the most part within the lines. There is a little nick right here that looks like it got scratched by something. But other than that, um, there's just some slight overpaint. But other than that, like she is very, very beautifully done. Like just look at that gradient right there. I'm so happy with that. It is so beautifully painted. So it looks like they actually sculpted some like wrinkles and some little like skin detailing into her Lego. And then looking at her dress, these silver details are actually raised. These do have a little bit of like stair stepping to them so they are different heights and everything. All very nicely painted. All very clean and very nice. Um, um, it looks like there's a little bit of overspray right here is my guess because it looks like it lines up with the white of her mantras so that's annoying but looking at the back of the dress here you can see that there is a gradient on the blue so that's pretty cool yeah the detailing on her dress goes all the way around and then the base of it is actually inspired by her lightsaber. So it has some simplified details like you can see right there. It's got that little like cutout that she has and everything. And it's very simply painted. It's not weathered or anything. But still it's very nice. Alright, so I just measured and she is approximately 11 inches in case anyone was curious. She's about 10 and 3 quarters inches tall. Overall, she is very, very beautiful. I do like that her face is a little bit more realistic and not quite so Clone Wars. There's just those couple of little nicks, the little overpaint that a little bit of overspray right here that are kind of annoying especially for the price of this because she she wasn't really cheap but overall I am very very happy with her she does have a nice amount of detail in her like you can see that she does have eyelashes painted on she does have some color variation going on on her irises so overall I am very happy with her she's a very nice piece and I would say if you get the opportunity to find her I would say go for it um, I believe that she is sold out I know she's sold out on Gentle Giant and I am pretty sure that she is sold out on Entertainment Earth so if you get the opportunity to find her for a reasonable price, I would say go ahead and pick her up. If you have her, if you were able to get her, let me know what you think of her. But I am very proud. I am very happy to have her in my collection. And she is very beautiful. Now I just gotta find somewhere to put her. I hope you guys found this informative and enjoyable, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! So in case anyone's curious, here's how she looks with the other two Gentle Giant Ahsoka Tano statues.